some knife people back again with more of these knives quick look at this kaiser lieb and jade natural scales n690 dark stone washed modded by myself uh we'll put this guy for down for a second uh, i wanted to say a quick shout out to all the new subs thanks for subbing any old subs thanks for sticking around uh, i'm approaching the thousand sub mark uh, pretty soon uh, i will do a giveaway when i get there but in the meantime uh, i will be doing a giveaway entry video tomorrow uh, so stay tuned for that i do got more unboxings today so don't go nowhere and uh that's pretty much it so thanks for tuning in quick shout out to bill homie tim homie timbo 437 go check him out uh jersey jersey knife guy uh knife detector all those guys thanks for making it all happen um quick look at this uh maverick pry bar just to let you know uh what's out here a lot of stores have been uh having these in stock now so go check them out really cool titanium uh bottle opener and i got my blade hq coin desert warrior so let's get this unboxing underway let's get the cutting and that's it so here we go couldn't wait i was gonna open this tomorrow but got a little antsy so let's get into it Again, this comes from Late HQ. Where'd it go? There it is. So, thanks to Kiridashi. I mean, the Kaiser leave, put that away. Here we go. Let's see what's in here. Hope everybody's doing good. get through all this spawn is out there they just came out with a new comment so for those of you that know who it is that's who that is and here we go oh a loose cheeto so this is what we're working with today we got the new smock with the black blade cpm m4 here we go my first time having a smock i think i held one before but never owned one just some knife information a little bit about the knife there you go in case you want to read that but this is what we're coming here for this is what we're all here for. So here we go. Nice and slender. Nice. Let me give it a quick little wipe here. Nice black clip, black hardware. Got your spidey hole. Jade scales button lock barrel spacers and the flipper tab a little bit of jumping on the blade there and i think some of you have already seen it most of you know it a couple of people have already done videos but let's see the action Ooh, not bad try that one more time here's the action Mm -hmm. Not tingy, very smooth, pretty cool, kind of liking that, check out that blade, so you got a nice, pretty high hollow ground blade, the nice big choil cut out there, CPM M4, Spider Co. This is the Tai Chung Taiwan, and there was a smock logo. Let's clean that blade one more time. Give you a better look at that blade. So that's a wicked looking blade. 
wicked looking knife. So you check that hollow ground. Uh, you can kind of see. Very, very nice. Again, nice action. Not sure if I'll take that detent out. Spidey hole open it. Middle finger open it. So very fidget friendly. Check out that. Ooh, centering is bam, right down the center. Very nice. Got a lanyard hole hidden in there. And it blends in with all the circles. But all in all, I mean, I didn't think I was gonna I mess that up. Got a nice four finger toil, uh, four finger grip there. A little cut out for your pointer. And your three fingers right back here. I got size large hands. And you got that jumping in the right spot. You don't have, you have a little smooth spot here. We can grab it and probably even choil up here. So it gives you a nice little cutout tip choil. So yeah, kind of a funky looking blade, but looks mean and wicked, in my opinion. That coating is not DLC coated. It's more of a, I think they call it nitrite coating or something. But it's not DLC coated. I'll show you some right now in a little bit. But yeah, really nice. Let's check out the thickness here of the blade. So it's looking under three millimeters. So it's probably about 0 0.12, 0 0.11. So good stock there. Not too thick, not too thin. It does have that kind of barrel plunge lock, almost like a uh, backwards compression lock. So really nice, digging it. So let's check out the sharpness. Let's see what the sharpness is looking like here. Ooh, pretty nice. Ooh, that hollow just bites. Check that out. Check out all those cuts, nice and laser cuts. Ooh, this is a very nice cutter. So really digging that. Nice ground, nice sharp blade. Looking really, really cool. Put that down for a second. Check it out. Get some of this mess. light in here sorry we got a little dark so let's uh weigh this baby too give it a nice little weight see what we're working with Seven ounces. So we got 3.7 ounces. Not bad. A little hefty there, but it'll do, it'll do. Really like that action though. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, so let's check out now. Do, 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 do. Let's get it on the board here. Give it some quick little measurements. So here we go. Oh, it doesn't wanna. What's going on? There you go, baby. So we're looking at a three inch cutting 
about three and a half inch blade and you're looking at one two three about four and a half inch handle so decent EDC size very EDC friendly fidget friendly let's uh put this guy and compare it with some others we'll bring out the Texel best tech Texel modded by myself put that here kind of similar we'll put the smog down and we'll bring out the ace biblio in same combination jg10 and black coated blade go pivot to pivot here check out these guys pretty dope that texel kind of has that same kind of flare I'm gonna show you some smaller knives show you the stinger actually this is pretty Pretty long knife anyways. It's a Ferrum Forge Stinger. And I'll bring out that Kaiser Lieb again. Get a nice little comparison there. And again, you can see the coating on the blade is a little different. That's like a dark stone washed. That's kind of like a glazed gun metaling kind of bluing and course that's more of a coated blade so we'll get this guy out of here and the lead and I'll bring out the native four in the same combination blade HQ exclusive I don't know if I mentioned that it is a blade HQ exclusive and of course the big dog the shaman in the same combination and again you can see what I mean about the coated blades there these are DLC coated. Let's see right now. Just a little bit different. But there's a three back to back. And you can see what I mean about the coating there. It's a little different, which I kind of like. We'll see how it holds up, but yeah, very nice. So I'll put the shaman down. And the little native, shout out to Keith Kevin Ken, in case you haven't noticed, the vendor number. It's the homie. And let's get back to the smocky here. Camera's starting to trip on me. So here we go. Another quick little look at the smock. Found me. So there you go, a nice slipper action. Really dig it. Kind of got that awkward look, but uh, this clip is a little weird. I might have to uh, go to that MXG clip or the Lynch clip that I had. Um, yeah, something happened, it's not focusing in. Okay, so maybe it's time to check out, but again, stay tuned for that entry video tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Another quick look at the smock. Nice action. Again, you can find these at I think Knife Joy still. A couple other places still have the regular variant. But this one was sold out. It lasted pretty much half a day. Uh, I didn't go checking till like about 12 o'clock and I still was able to get one. So, um, yeah, whoever fell asleep on it, it's too bad. 
So there we go. Kind of that final look. And uh, hope everybody has a good rest of the weekend. Stay tuned for more of these knives. If you like these knives, check back for more. Tell friends, tell family. Always do that. And you guys know that I'll always catch you guys on the flip side. Have a good one. Bam. Look out for that video tomorrow.